so sick of them. I'm so sick of the brainwashing about Islam and Muslims and the Quran. Shove it. Shove it all. I'm sick of it. Get, get, take the music off. These throwbacks think they're better than you underneath it all. And 90% of them are on welfare. Speak it out at the supermarket. Tell them what you think of Islam. Tell them what you think of Muslims. Say it on the supermarket line. And don't care what stares you get from those dumb idiots who are checking out behind you with their cracker jacks. I can see what it says in their book of hate. Make no mistake about it. The Quran is not a document of freedom. The Quran is a document of slavery and chattel. It teaches you that you are a slave. Don't tell me I need re-education. They need deportation. You can take CAIR and throw them out of my country. I don't want to hear any more about Islam. I don't want to hear one more word about Islam. Take your religion and shove it up your behind. I'm sick of you. Or equally, obviously, to, to, to not dress like that in Muslim area. It's a Muslim area. <laughs> Pour it out, get him to pour it out. It's a Muslim area, okay? Alcohol, bad. This is a Muslim area. No drink in this area, this is a Muslim area. Okay. What is? It's a Muslim patrol. We Muslims, we patrol the area, forbidden munkah, forbidden evil. Alcohol is evil. No alcohol, yes? Yeah. Have a good day. It's a Muslim area. Right. Obviously, no alcohol is allowed in this area. Right. So, unfortunately for you, I'm going to take that out. We don't care if you believe it or not. No drinking whatsoever, okay? No alcohol, no drinking. This is a Muslim area, okay? Have a good day. Then you need to control this area and you need to forbid these people from dressing like this and exposing themselves outside the mosque. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Remove yourself away from the mosque. Go away from the mosque now. Muslim patrol. Muslim patrol. Don't 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 be allowing us to puke outside the mosque. This is Muslim area. Do you understand? Do you understand what we're saying? So Muslim patrol. Muslim patrol. Move away from the mosque. Move away. Move away from the mosque now. Okay? Do you understand? This is democracy. This is freedom. This is secularism. We clearly need Islam. Move away from the masjid. Go Islam. away now. Don't come back. Don't come back. Don't come back. Keep your mouth closed. Do you not consume alcohol. It is haram for your, for your own necks. We don't respect those who disobey God. We don't respect them. I'm so appalled. We don't care if you're appalled area. at all. Muslim patrol. Muslim Muslim area. Area. It's Great Britain. This we don't Women care. It's not so Great Britain. Britain. Not so Great Britain. Do you understand? Vigilantes implementing Islam upon your own necks. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. As you can see, on a Saturday night, after a drunken night out, many people have been injured, and haram has taken place. And obviously, the result of this haram and this disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that somebody has been knocked over off their Boris Johnson Barclays bike and has indeed been injured. We can see from this the alcohol has led to a haram which maybe the person will lose their life. Anyone listening or watching, this is an invitation to Islam away from such lives that lead you to haram and destruction. We call you to embrace Islam, become Muslim and you'll be successful. Egypt's Coptic Christians continue to face persecution from the country's Islamist majority, many of whom have been undertaking a campaign of intimidation, which has included sexual harassment, violence, vandalism, arson and murder against the Christian population. 
We really suffered in the period that they were protesting in Rabah. I was constantly verbally abused for being a Christian. Even on the public buses they would insult me for being Christian and accused us of being infidels and that we as Christian people deserve to be wiped off the face of this country because they believe that we do not deserve to live in this country. Christian churches in Egypt have been set on fire with regularity since the overthrow of Islamist President Mohamed Morsi in July, with nearly 40 looted and torched and a further 23 heavily damaged. Schools, homes and businesses run or owned by Christians have faced a similar fate. The current situation has shown an increasingly severe attack on all churches, on Christians and state institutions. The Muslim Brotherhood, I really don't understand what they are doing. We would have sincerely wished to communicate with them, to build this nation and reconcile, to find a peaceful solution, but it's all been in vain. An upsurge in violence against Christians may also be linked to their close ties with the military-backed interim government, which ousted Morsi from power. After Egypt's defense minister recently promised to rebuild the destroyed religious buildings, the Coptic church promptly gave its blessing to the government's fight against what the church called armed violence and terrorism. Christians have been in Egypt since the first century and were for hundreds of years the majority. Now a minority of just 10% of the population, Christians have long complained of marginalization and discrimination from Egypt's Sunni Muslim majority. Stop 
protesting no, no, non-violently. I didn't hurt anyone. There was no one here when I came. There was no one here. She put herself. She put herself this way. I asked her to get out of the way. If you're on Twitter, tweet that Mona El Tahawi was arrested. M O N A E L T A H A W I. And my arrest. How, How old are you? I'm 45. And I'm Egyptian American. And I refuse hate. What do you mean that's why? And I will continue to non violently protest hate. And that is hate and racism. This is what happens in America when you non violently protest. That's true. <laughs>